What's up, guys? The long wait is now over. Charot. <laughs> Today, after a long, long wait, finally, the kimono robe arrived. And this time, we are talking about our top wear. So, while unboxing, we can read all the information right there. You, as you can see, the delivery process almost took one month. What? Yeah, that long. I ordered it um, in March 23 <clears throat> and it came around May 19, if I'm not mistaken. The factory is from Montreal, QC, going to Philippines. Yeah, you heard it right. I am from Philippines and I was really angry with Hacienda, Hacienda USA that time. I emailed them back and forth. I even gave them the lowest scores on their trust pilot. I ga even gave Art of Wear a low score because of such a delay, which I would like to apologize for. Yeah, my emotions got ahead of me and lesson learned. If you are about to order as a birthday or gift to someone, or maybe a gift to yourself, you really have to order it in advance. I mean, give it at least one to two months, I guess. It was my first time ordering abroad. I almost cancelled it, but patience is a virtue. <laughs> and it came... If I'm not mistaken, Niato Shop and Art of Wear almost simultaneously arrive at my doorstep. The delivery guy who brought it home is really checking the ID for verification of the receiver. And yep, it came from abroad. So there are four types of materials when you try ordering on my Shopee. Uh, I mean Etsy. <laughs> There are silky knit, peach skin jersey, silk twill, poly chiffon. And I actually ordered the item directly from their shop, which is Art of Wear shop, before they closed it down. Pushing us to sell through integration and one of them is Etsy. So all of the Art of Wear links are no longer functional. So instead, you really have to order directly from my Etsy shop, which is actually new to me. You might notice that the kimono is kinda pricey. The materials and the shipping fee is already combined. I also checked the other's prices on kimono robes to see if it's just fair. So yeah, that's it. Sky.